I'm so sorry, Annie. I know how much your father meant to you. It's okay, Miss Anakin. You don't have to pretend like you cared about him. Oh, I didn't. In fact, I pretty much hated the guy. He ruined my life and treated me like gum on the bottom of his designer shoe. But he was your dad. What are you doing here? I convinced Drake to bring me. <laughs> I mean, why? Why? I'm legally responsible for you, right? I can't just have you running away in a helicopter. So this is just a legal obligation? No. I... What even are we to each other? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I never thought I'd end up with you in my life again, believe me. What I do know is that I'll never live up to your dad. I wouldn't even try. That crusty old billionaire loved you more than anything. I hope you'll always feel that. But I just wanted to say that I'm here. Not only in this graveyard, but here for you. And I'm not going anywhere. Miss Hannigan. Of course, if you want to find someone else to be your guardian, especially now that you know it could be permanent. Miss Hannigan, thanks for being here. Sure. Now you want to head back? The cemetery's kind of give me the creeps. Drake's got a car waiting in the parking lot. Yeah, I'm ready. Just give me one sec, okay? I have something I need to say to your parents. Really? Okay. I'll meet you at the car. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Take good care of Daddy for me. Margaret and David Bennett. And you two, Warbucks. I'm not going to make some big speech about how sorry I am for what I did. I just want you all to know I'm going to try to look out for her, okay? I'm not making any promises. I mean, looking out for myself is still priority number one, but uh, you get it. Hello? Red, is that you? Is someone there? Wait, who is that? No, no I won't be haunted by you. I can't believe I'm back mopping floors at the orphanage. I didn't ask you to do that, Molly. I wasn't complaining, just commenting. It is pretty weird. This time we're cleaning because we want to. And because our good friend Pepper needs a nice place to live. Even if it is owned by Jalion or Psycho Mother. You know what would make this cleaning go by faster? We're not singing, Tessie. I wasn't going to say singing. We're not dancing either. <sighs> Fine. We'll just mop in silence until Annie gets here. You think she's going to be okay? I'm gonna survive, Malls. Annie! Oh, we're really glad you're here. So glad. Get in here, Pat. How are you holding up, Warbucks? I'm sad. I'll miss him forever. But at least I know the truth, right? And pretty soon the rest of the world will too. Does that mean you're going to tell people that we found the plane? I've scheduled an event on the lawn of the mansion for tonight. Even hired a caterer. So it's like a memorial? Not exactly. Why are you being all mysterious? I'm not. But I made promises to my dad, and I intend to keep them. Okay, and can we ask who's invited to this event? You guys, of course. The press and a bunch of people who really hated my dad. What? Why? You'll see. But the invitations are already on their way. Uh, 
Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard. Good day, Mr. Van. Mora. You all know my daughter, July? Of course. Hello, July. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Team Davon, a.k.a. the winning team. Beats crusty old Warbucks Tower, right? I hope you don't mind having this meeting aboard my yacht. It's more secure than a regular boardroom. Of course. <laughs> Mora. I understand you and your team have put together a comprehensive plan for a hostile takeover of Warbucks Industries. Indeed we have. July, would you mind passing out the documents? Maybe there's a misunderstanding. I'm not an assistant. If anything, you work for me. Listen, I've already had to answer to a teenage girl, so if this is going to be another situation where I have to swallow my pride... Hold, please. What is that noise outside the window? It's... a drone? I wouldn't open that. Oh, watch out! What is it doing? Hello, Vanita. Annie Warbucks. Mora, maybe you're there too. Oh, for the love of money. I hope so. You and your team are cordially invited to a gathering at the Warbucks Mansion. You won't want to miss it. Say hi to July for me. And please, bring her too. <coughs> Darling! I hate those things. Last stop. Warbucks Tower top floor. Thank you, Drake. Always appreciate a smooth, safe ride. Is anyone here? Since all the executives jumped ship, this floor is like a ghost town. Ghosts? There's no such thing as ghosts. Are you alright, Miss Hannigan? Since your visit to the graveyard, you've seemed... haunted. Haunted? Why would you use that word? I'm fine. I'm just not used to spending time... Agatha Hannigan, is that you? <gasps> ah! Jimmy? I'm so sorry, Aggie. I did not mean to scare you. Or me. It's Ms. Hannigan at work. Remember? Oh, yeah, of course. But, um, I figure no one else is around. It's just you and me. You're right. Aggie is fine. In fact... You're hereby not my assistant anymore. What? You're firing me? I'm promoting you, dummy. Junior executive. Oh. Wait, really? Can you do that? I just did. Wow. Thank you. This is incredible. I can't wait to tell my mom. So, um, first thing, what exactly does a junior executive do? Well, for starters, I need you to make a call. I want confirmation that a particular prisoner is still behind bars. A... a... a prisoner? His name is... Daniel Francis Hannigan. Yes, Daniel Francis Han Hannigan. Isn't that your brother, Rooster? Why would you... Will you make the call? Oh, yeah, of course. Anything for you. Ooh, someone is coming up the elevator. And maybe it's one of my new subordinates. Oh, no. Aggie! Arlen? Senator Jeffries? Johnny. Jimmy. Isn't that what I said? Come with me, Aggie. We need to talk. Well, I just got here. It's important. All right. Goodbye, Johnny. Nice to see you. You too. Wait, no. My name is Jimmy. <sighs> it's important. I'm a senator. My name is Senator John Fries. It doesn't feel so good, does it? Is this really the time for a horse-drawn carriage ride through Central Park, Arlen? It's very romantic, but we're both so busy. You deserve this moment, Aggie. I know it's been a trying time for you since the Senate hearing. Well, Annie's the one going through it. Annie, of course. Uh, can I ask, what exactly is happening there? Happening? Does she have any idea where her father might be? Does she have reason to believe he'll return anytime soon? You know, I'd rather not talk about Annie right now. Let's enjoy the ride. Of course. I just want you to consider, maybe 
it's time to start distancing yourself from her. Distance? I'm sure there are a lot of perks to living in that mansion, but you need to think about your future, given what is likely coming down the pike for that family. Coming down the pike? Is there something I need to know? Oh! Not another one of those infernal drones! Get away! You're gonna spook the horse! Hello, Senator Jeffries. You were cordially invited to a gathering at the Warbucks Mansion. You won't want to miss it. You need anything else, Mrs. Kostadakis? What are you doing? I'm done with my shift. I'm going home. I mean, why are you being nice to me? I'm not. You are. And you didn't even yell at my customers tonight. Yes, I did. Well, less than usual. Maybe I'm trying to be a better waitress. Why? You never tried before. I guess I just realized life is short, you know? No, life is long. Very, very long. But I, I miss the real pepper. The, the mean pepper. The, the nasty, rude, surly, uncooperative. I get it. Mind your own business, okay? And I'm taking this burger and fries home with me. That's my girl. Okay, I, I'll dock it from your salary, of course, but have a good night. Whatever. Call Annie. Look out! Adam? Are you all right? Yes. I'm fine. Um, <clears throat> Why are you on top of me? That car, it, it almost hit you. I tackled you out of the way. You should not be looking at your phone while you cross the street. Thanks for the tip. You can get up now. You sure you're not hurt? No internal injuries or... Are you following me? No! M more like waiting for you. It's different. Why? Why is Annie sending drones to her enemies? You're tracking her drones too? No! Okay, yeah. But only because I'm worried, and because I didn't want to be off the clock like you said. You can't just send me away, Pepper. I'm an orphan now, too. You're not an orphan. I know. I just mean... Do you want to tell me what Annie's big event is? My best guess? She's rounding up all the suspects in her dad's disappearance so she can see their faces when she announces he's gone. Is that a good idea? Probably not. But it's not your problem. What are you scared of? I'm not scared. Then how come every time we get close, you push me away? I'm not pushing. I, I wanted to protect you. You really want to come to this event? I really want to go with you. You know you're making a mistake, right? <sighs> Wouldn't be my first. Come on. <laughs> gonna tackle me on a softer spot? I mean, the grass is right there. Softer than the hood of a car? Looks like Annie got her wish, Malls. All the people who hate her are here. Oh, Vanita and July are front and center. Mora and the board are one row back. There's Senator Jeffries hitting the buffet, and a lot of other angry-looking people in suits. <coughs> Ugh, I know, Sandy. We don't like him either. <coughs> you know what would be awesome right now? If we turned on the lawn sprinklers and blasted them all. <coughs> Sandy! Hey, get your hands off me! <coughs> no, the hair is the money! My hair is the money! Stop touching! He's with me! I'm Stop friends with resisting! Hey, 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 I'm whoa, whoa. best friends with Annie What's Warbucks. Just on? tell her that I'm here! The kid is not on the list. I told you, he's Annie's friend. You must have seen him here before. Come on! The list is the list. Gene, what seems to be the problem? Oh, hello, uh, Miss Hannigan. The kid's good. He's with me. He is? I am. Why didn't you say so? Sorry for the mix-up, Miss Hannigan. No worries. <coughs> mix-up? The guy grabbed me by the neck! You okay? I'm sure Pepper would be happy to give you a nice neck rub. Really, Tess? I'm fine. Thanks, Miss Hannigan. 
Not to interrupt this episode of Teens with Crushes, but do we have any idea what this event is all about? You haven't talked to Annie, Miss H? Not since the graveyard. What happened in the graveyard? Nothing. Nothing happened in the graveyard. Okay. Here she comes. Hi, everyone. If you could all take your seats. I want to thank you all for coming today. And I especially want to acknowledge Senator Jeffries, Vanita and July Devon, Maura Leonard. I've got to get to look you all in the eye when I make this announcement. What is this, Annie? Good question, Senator. Why did you invite us here, A.W.? Let Annie speak to you. She obviously has something important to share. <laughs> She'll only tell us more lies. No more lies, Mora. I called you all here today because I have a statement to make about the search for my father. But before I do, I want you all to know that I'm not going to curl up in... <laughs> Sandy? Kind of in the middle of something here. Sandy! Sandy, come here! Come on, dog. Oh, get over here. You know I don't run. Oh, what is it, boy? Sandy! Ah, I gotcha. Wait. What's that in his mouth? Sandy, drop it. Drop it, boy. Oh! I got it. Okay. No, hold still. Open that. Oh! Oh, my. Look. Red. It's a locket?